Hello everyone, this is Diane. It is Monday morning, May um, 3rd today, I think. Yep, May 3rd, as I'm filming this. I have two flea market hauls to show you. There is one flea market that is in my town that is open once a month. It's just a small one. It's in a parking lot. And a lot of the stuff isn't what I would think of that I would find at a flea market. It's more new stuff. Um, people that sell candles and things like that. But there are some vintage um, vendors there. And it is in the parking lot of an old um, grocery store that is now um, an antique market and it has the antique market has vendors and they've expand sorry expanded into another section of the store which I hadn't been into yet I don't buy a lot there because it's pricey but I went in um, to see what was in the new section and I found something there so I found this pile in the parking lot this is all from one vendor and it's not vintage and this was inside and it's vintage so let's just look at this there was um, there were tables and tables of magazines they are outdated but they're not vintage they're from 2020 and some from 2021 they had magazines and planners and they were all a dollar everything whatever you wanted um, even even the planners were a dollar so I got some. This is a Daphne's diary, diary for 2021. And these things are, this is marked at $25 for the U.S. And obviously we're a quarter of the way through, a third of the way, sorry, a third of the way through 2021. But the pages and images are beautiful and there are some cards. So I can use some of these things for collages and glue books. I don't want to spend too much time on items because I do have a lot to show you, but I thought you'd be interested in this Daphne's Diary. There's a pocket on the back. And then I picked up this planner, just something small that I can use. I paper clipped the months that are already passed so I don't have to flip through them all. But I thought I could use it for um, planning out when I'm, what videos I'm going to do on certain days and what journals I have in the works and things like that. I got the Magnolia Journal, which is a pretty expensive magazine. It's $8 here in the U.S. And I like Joanna, Chip and Joanna Gaines, so I just picked that up to look through. I always like the Somerset Studio magazines, and this one is in her studio. It's Stampington and Company, I should say, is the company that produces these magazines. And I love to look at other people's studios and workspaces, but I, I'm not going to spend $15 on just to see other people's workspaces. But I'll pay a dollar for it. Uh, this one is Everyday Faith by Day Spring, and sometimes uh, you can find good quotes and scripture to cut out and put in glue books and things like that in these kind of books. Bella Grace is an expensive magazine. This one's $20, and it's from December, January, February of 2021. And so if you're familiar with Bella Grace, you will know that it's they are matte pages. They're beautiful. They have lots of quotes um, and lots of beautiful images and um, things to do, like things to fill out. It's like a journal kind of all on its own. Get organized in minutes. We all need that, right? This is $13 in the store, and this is from November 2020. And look at this one. I've never heard of another magazine. Look how fat it is. And this opens up. It's very glossy. This one is dated spring summer 2020. So it's a year old. And it is full of fashion images. 
that I can cut out and use in. This thing is cramping my style. In um, art journals and things like that. But it also has, I think, three posters, which I wouldn't use as a poster. I don't. I guess I could just use them as large pages. So, have you ever heard of another magazine? Some of the images are pretty way out there. I mean, fashion magazines are. Their images are kind of weird, but this one had some really weird ones. I don't see any right here, but but I think I'll have fun cutting that up. Then I went inside and I found this box full of vintage cards, and it was ten dollars for the whole box. Some of them aren't as old, but they're but some of them are really pretty of the newer ones. These are like Victorian. Victorian Greetings, it's called. And I think they're just blank inside, yeah. That looks like the same thing, just mirror mirror image. And a Harrison Fisher illustration. A couple postcards. I'm not going to go through all of the cards because it would take too long, but there are some nice ones that I can use of these. Some Christmas ones. I don't know about these. I probably won't use the Disney ones, but... Um, and then this whole pile of old envelopes that go with the old cards. So I, I sorted through the cards last night. I'm going to set these aside for the pansy journal that I'm going to make. This one is kind of frosted right there. It's really cool. It's kind of like, almost like micro beads. Um, so some of the cards, there were duplicates of and I and they're all the same like they this is what they look like um, this shape and type of paper and there's a variety of uh, occasions for these cards and there were duplicates of them so this one is I think a wedding shower there's five cards so I've got wedding cards here some of them are used and some not this one is so pretty on this vintage parchment and it's silver. I just love that one. Um, so there's wedding. Just a few um, thinking of you types of cards. That one's Easter. It's the only Easter one. Um, baby cards. These are kind of damaged, but these are the same like, like that. They must have all come in a box together. Um, a get well card. So these are all get well. birthday. That was for a wife. This is for a husband. Mother. To make a long story short, a volume of birthday greetings. Son. Oh, there's more. Another sun one. Thought I had everything together that went together. For father. And there were cards that were bundled together. Someone had punched holes in them and tied them all up together with a ribbon, and it was quite a thick bundle. And when I untied them, I realized they were all 50th anniversary cards. So somebody had a 50th anniversary party uh, or a card shower, and they saved all their cards. And there are duplicates. People bought the same one, but they were used and sent. Uh, some of them were just part of that box. This one was used. Yeah, those were used. And people really liked this one. I think I have six of this one. <laughs> with the satiny cushioned part there. And, and these are from 1953. 
So lots of anniversary cards. The golden ones and then just some... <coughs> oh, I knew that was coming. Just some other anniversary cards. That one's pretty. I wanted to take a little more time with these cards, but I do have I got quite a few things at today's flea market, so I didn't want to break it up into two videos if I can help it. So that's a lot of cards there for ten dollars. Vintage. Now, today's flea market, let's go through the books first. I got this little pile of teeny tiny Beatrix Potter books. Six of them. And I thought I could just make things with the images. This got chewed up on one corner. So we have the Tailor of Gluster, the Tale of Benjamin Bunny, the Tale of the Flopsy Bunnies, Two Bad Mice, the Tale of Mrs. Tiggywinkle, and the Tale of Jeremy Fisher. And I got four of the Rand McNally um, Junior Elf books. The Three Bears, they're in bad condition, but I can make journals with them because this spine won't be there anymore. So, and it's coming apart. Mary had a little lamb. I hope I can get that sticker. Oh, yep, yeah, that came off. Uh, Once Upon a Time. And Baby Deer's New Red Scarf. That is so adorable. And from the same vendor I got these two shaped soft cover books. The Farm Book. I can put pages from this in a farm journal and the Raggedy Ann book. A golden shape book they are called. This is 1974 and this one is 1974. Now this one isn't old but I got it for a dollar and I, there's things I can cut out of it to put into a mermaid journal or a seashell journal. Look at that. The world of mermaids. Look at all the shells here. The truth about mermaids. These are, um, mermaids are obsessed with their appearance, and it says false. It's humans who are obsessed with mermaid beauty. Mermaids are far from vain, and why would they want to look in a mirror when they see beauty in the world all around them? There's a mermaid mirror, so hopefully I can cut that out and use it in a journal. I don't even know what all is here. I think there are some flaps that aren't open yet because there's, oh, there's one. I knew there was something there. Yeah, all these little flaps. So this is fun. Oh, this is a booklet. I can use those little pages. About seahorses and penguins and sea stars, pets and playmates. The guy where I got this book, he charges more than I normally like to pay for things. So I picked this up and that was the only thing I wanted. So instead of asking him, how much do you want for it? I said, would you take a dollar for it? And some, that's missing, whatever. Oh no, it's there. It's just torn. Um, 
He hesitated, but then he said, sure. So I would have, he would have asked for more if I hadn't phrased it that way. I'm not very good at, um, what do you call it? Bargaining or whatever. Okay, got a few more books. I got this Heidi one. I'd have to put a yo-yo or something there. It was free when you buy two, pa two pounds of Folgers coffee, 1970. So I just wanted that for the cover. I like this cover too, and I like the title, Ready to Roll. It's a reader. Nineteen sixty-seven. It's not in bad condition. Three bears. This is obviously for young children. And this looks a lot older. A dictionary for boys and girls. And I liked it because it's old and the printing is a little bit bigger than in most vintage dictionaries because it's for kids. And I think the page with the date is gone. I think it would have been right there. It's got lots of pictures in it. The little illustrations and then some color plates, which I didn't realize were there till I got it home, till just now keep flipping past them. I can see there's a color plate here somewhere, but I can't find it. There. <laughs> it's elusive. Oh, it's bugs. I worked so hard to see a page full of bugs, which I don't like. Ooh, that one's nice. That's a good page. And the real Mother Goose, this is a paperback one, and I but I love the illustrations in this. I have the hardcover version of it. And I picked up just a few tablets. I wanted the pink paper. And this one just because I like the paper. And the great Great children's stories. So these are big pages that would be good in larger journals. 1972, nope, 1985 is the last printing. Look at that gorgeous illustration right there. Kind of looks like um, Art Nouveau. Just really pretty illustrations. Well, that's the books. I got just a few linens. Um, these were all from one vendor, and she's always really cheap. But there were quite a few of these kind of printed vintage tablecloths, so I'm going to wash these today. They smell musty, but it smells like, it doesn't smell like mildew, so I know the smell will come out. And, and the colors just all went together. This one is a plaid something. It's very soft. I guess it's a tablecloth, but very worn. It's got holes in it, but I love the colors and I love the softness of it. Oh, it smells like it's been in somebody's barn. It doesn't smell like a barn. I don't mean it that way. It just doesn't smell fresh. But these would be awesome together in something. And this too. And this polka dot. I love polka dots. And this. And a couple of embroidered pieces. 
this looks like it went on a curved bureau or something and the embroidery is pretty pale but tiny and delicate it's coming out the stitches are coming out on the edges and there's just a little corner piece on each edge I actually thought I put these embroidered pieces back but she only charged five dollars for the whole bundle plus the tiny these books were part of the bundle too I like this blue and white but it's got holes and this is a funny shape too not funny but odd different see this is the end of it both ends that's books and textiles now let's look at the unique items that I found today I got a rubber stamp don't judge each day by the harvest you reap but by the seeds you plant I'm gonna bring this in now because the items I'm showing you are a bit smaller here um, I got a stack of postcards whoops maybe not that close And he gave me a good price. I mean, I paid. I paid for them, but a lot less than what he wanted. Bear brand hosiery. I love that one. I had gotten cards from him a couple of times already this year, and I decided. Next time I see him, I'm just going to see how much he wants for the whole batch. <laughs> and he wasn't there last week. He was there this week. And he seemed uh, pretty surprised when I said, when I asked about the whole batch, because he wanted to sell them individually. And I can't do that because they usually want at least a dollar a card. So we took some out. I had already taken some out. Um, oh, that's cute. <laughs> and we took some more out because there was one, he said, this one is worth more. So I said, well, I don't need that one. It wasn't one of my favorites. So we took some out, and then he just asked for 20 for this whole stack. Skip in some of them. <laughs> That's weird. Maybe you will be surprised to receive this and maybe you won't. Maybe you will enjoy reading this and maybe you won't. Maybe you will answer and maybe you won't. Etc. Etc. The doctor says it's bad to be alone. What about it? That's not a very romantic proposal. So there were 78 to begin with before we took some out, so I don't know how many are here now, but quite a few. I got some needle books. This is from an insurance company. Reliance needle book. was broken in two. This is from AAA. It's got one needle left. No, a few needles. That's a big one right there. This one's a sewing machine needle. Somebody must have stuck that in there. Spaceship. And Empire State. And I got this pretty picture. Isn't she pretty? Looks like she's graduating. She's holding a rolled 
ribbon tied paper there with a bouquet. So I believe that's her diploma and it's from 1924. That's what it says right there. St. Patrick's graduation. And these were all in a bundle. The salad bowl, which is an advertisement booklet from the Best Foods Company, um, which has Best Foods mayonnaise and Hellman's mayonnaise, depending on what part of the country you're in. I guess it's all, this is all Best Foods mayonnaise. So it just has how to make different salads but I love that picture. So this might go in one of the cookbook, the next cookbook um, journals that I make. I think I'm not gonna make them right away. I'm, I, I've got a lot of stuff prepared for them, but I'm gonna put them aside for now and there's something else I wanna work on, but I'll put this with them. The Ohio Grease Company, this is a 1954 diary and it's in excellent condition. It's got a little spot right there but you can tell it's never been used because the cover isn't bent or creased and it's got really neat um, diary pages. Massachusetts Mutual Life Insurance Company. This is just a little desk calendar. You would set that up on your desk and it's from 1940 uh, November and then it goes into 1941. And it doesn't appear that anything was taken off of it. I think it just started in November. Oh, it has November, December, January, just month at a glance type of pages. And then these are there's three months. I don't understand. November, December, January, December, January, February, January, February, March. I don't understand why it's printed that way, but there you go. And then this, he told me, is a packet of ink blotters, which I would not have known. This is a postcard advertising steel and concrete bridges, and it has a calendar for 1910 on it. These are ink blotters. They all have this on the back. So there's an advertisement for McDonald heating, I guess. Boiler water level controls and safety devices. And McDonald, again, this is the same. And this is for stationery. School and factory forms printed in printed to order. Printers for particular people. Phone 99W, Sydney, New York. And there's another one for that company. So this is a beautiful picture. And then this one is a fall picture. No um, date on them. And then Great Utica or Utica General Truck Truck Company is using pinup girls. <laughs> sell their product on these um, blotters. Mother, may I go out to swim and hang my clothes on a hickory limb? The swimsuit shortage may be acute, but so am I in my birthday suit. So this must be from the 40s. So that's what I got. Oh, I wanted to show you one more thing. I stopped. Oh, I got two more of these little books too. Tale of Mrs. Tittlemouse and Squirrel Nutkin. So I have eight of those little books. I stopped at Walmart for my groceries before I came home and I found this in the cosmetic department. Beauty tool organizer and cleaner set and it's flexible. So it has that pattern and I think uh, a round handle would work better but it does fit these flat handles. So I got all of my little makeup brush thingies stuck in here. And it was 
right around five dollars I think five or six and it comes with this textured for a deep clean so I guess you would wet the brush and then rub it on here to get it clean so I can use that too to clean ink off it right hold the brush cleaner by hand or suction to the sink for easy cleaning Huh. It's stuck on there now. So I just wanted to show that to you in case it's something you're interested in looking for. It's in the cosmetic department. It's not on a shelf. It just hangs on a clip strip. I had it in this color and um, a bluish color and a gray. That's all that I saw there. So I had a lot to show you today. Tell me what your favorite thing was. I always like to know what you um, found interesting and uh, some of you give me a list and that's good too because that's what I would do I would give you a list of my favorites so um, that's it I'm gonna clean up I think I'm gonna have to clean today instead of crafting clean up my craft room and my office and get things put together in orderly fashion so that I can uh, craft without going crazy but I really want to just craft, but you know how it is. We have to do our maintenance. So hopefully tomorrow I can, I have the boys tomorrow, but hopefully I'll get some crafting done. And I will see you in the next video, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.